Hey Virgo, welcome to your first half of August love reading, love connection reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new, please check the description box below for any and all information that you need is there, a ton of information. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal reading, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. And um, I love doing it for you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Virgo, first half of August already, wow. Where is time going? I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, Virgo, first half of August. Zodiac Oracle. Oracle. <laughs> we may get a planet sign or element energy. And whatever comes out here, if it doesn't resonate, that's totally fine. The rest of the message may be for you. So I would say keep watching. And this may be for what some Virgos may be dealing with. All right, we have one card for Virgo. What kind of energy may be around them? First half of August. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. One card for Virgo. Wow. What kind of energy may some Virgos be dealing with? The first half of August, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. Just one card for Virgo, please. One card for Virgo. Okay, we'll take that one. Aries. All right, so some Virgos may be dealing with an Aries. And if you're not, that is totally fine. Or you person may have Aries in their chart somehow also, so please keep that in mind. All right. Virgo. With this deck here, we will get an overall, first thing we'll do is get an overall love energy. See what's going on with Virgo. All the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, meditated on off camera. There is a little more shuffling on camera, so please be patient with that. And if you want to know what decks I'm using, they are all listed below also. So what is the love energy like for Virgo? The first half of August for whoever Whoever you have in mind, this reading is for whoever you have in mind in any kind of connection, whether you're together or not together, whatever it is for you. And we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully it resonates for you. All right. What is the love energy like for Virgo first? All right. There we go. Ooh, 28. And we have a man here holding a rose who's thinking and contemplating about making an offer to somebody. You have 28 and that's 10. 10 tens are about endings and then one is a brand new beginning. And what's the brand new beginning? Is the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Hearts, which is a brand new beginning in love, emotions, fulfillment, divinely guided love. So we have a man here who may have just ended something but now wants a brand new beginning in love and he's ready to make an offer to whoever he has in mind. Oh, Virgo, let's see. Let's see, Some somebody is ready to start something new and offer something. And then you have, if your person is an Aries, they have one on their card. So we have one brand new beginning, Ace of Cups, Brand new beginning in love. <laughs> and this just showed itself to me again, even though I didn't ask yet. Another man here willing to bear everything, bear his true self, his true feelings, and anchor down something with you. All right, so hopefully, hopefully we get this continued message. Sounds good to me. So how is Virgo feeling? All right about this connection and their person. So I feel like in Virgo, here's the queen of diamonds, which is the queen of pentacles, which is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
and we have 22, which is four, which is about stability. So I feel like you want this stability. You want this new beginning with this person. This is your energies, how you're feeling, how you're feeling about this person in this connection. But I think you're not sure where they're going, you know, what direction they're going, what their decision's going to be, what's going on with them. Will, they'll, will they choose the path to you or will they take another path and do something else? You, I feel like you don't know. It's like you're questioning, I don't know where this is going to go, what door we're going to walk through, what option is going to be taken here by this person you have in mind. But you do want stability with this person, I feel, in some way. All right, so let's see how your person is feeling towards you in this connection, Virgo. One card. All right, so we have the moon energy. And uh, we have the eight of cups, which is water energy. Um, so again, they are coming out with the Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. And then we have the Eight of Cups here, which is an energy of leaving something, walking away from something that's no longer fulfilling for them. And I did say here with the 10, is an ending completion. So they may be ending and walking away from something here with the Eight of Cups energy, but they wanna to walk to something else that's more fulfilling. And I feel like it's you and offer you this love of some kind emotions some kind of offer here with this red rose and have a brand new beginning here but i feel like in their energy right now we have 32 which is five they know there needs to be a change in their energy in their connection with you some sort of change has to be made and with the moon here is about you know not seeing things clearly having that illusion um so they know that secrets so they know they haven't been completely honest with you they haven't told you everything what's going on in their life in their situation what they're ending how they're feeling towards you um and this connection what they truly want with you how they see you feel about you you have like they know you have no idea no idea because you're confused you don't know which way they're going to go if they're going to choose you if they're going to go off on their own and they realize that so they know there needs to be change but they're walking away from something and i feel like they want to walk towards you all right so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the fox and we have 14 again five change so the overall energy is change really needs to be made here they know that the fox can be like a sneaky kind of energy so you know, you may feel like you don't know what's going on with them. Are they being sneaky? Are they, are they being deceptive? And they also may feel that you feel that way towards them. And they know they have to shed light on this situation with the moon and reveal their secrets, relieve their, reveal their true intentions and all that sort of thing. And then you have the nine, cup, uh, nine of clubs there, the nine of wands, fire energy. So, you know, I feel like Nine of Wands energy is that wounded warrior, that soldier that's been through a tough fight and struggle. So I've been, they feel like they've been through something here in their relationship they've just been through. It's been a tough, tough, hard battle and fight. They've been through the ringer. They feel beat up, but they're still willing to fight on and move on and walk away from that situation and walk towards you. So we'll see here. We shall see. All right. If their sign is an Aries, uh, their sun sign, it could be an Aries rising. As you see, this Aries kind of Aries kind of rising out of I don't know, almost looks like a volcano. Could be their rising sign. All right. So let's see. And the Aries in the tarot is uh, the emperor, which is a person that takes charge, takes control of a situation or whatever. So maybe they're just taking control and charge of their life finally and moving away and moving on and moving towards you and doing what they feel like they need to do in their heart for this connection with you. 
Okay, one more shuffle. All right. So let's clarify for you. Wow. Okay. The tower. Wow. Okay. And I had just spoke of Aries is um, the emperor, but it's also the tower. And here comes the tower. So, and you're sitting in this energy of not knowing, and this is fire energy, uh, not knowing what's going on, wondering what they're going to do. You want stability. Um, so, and I feel like this tower moment, it's like, is this ending or is there going to be a new beginning? Um, you feel like you need some clarity here. You need them to come in with this lightning bolt and shed clarity on this situation and have this big tower moment between the two of you so you can have the better understanding of them, the situation, the connection you have, what's moving forward from there, from that. So let's see, clarify for your person. Strength, wow, Leo energy. So definitely, yep, they're mustering up all their courage, strength, determination, you know, they're fighting on, going on, what they've been through in the past, but they're still willing to, you know, take all their courage and bravery and strength and inner strength to move forward towards you. Two major arcana, right? Back to back. <laughs> wow. It's going to really take a lot of strength for them to come forward to you and have this tower moment between the two of you and when you come together it may be like lightning and um yep see this oxen here pulling this heavy cart you know they're still going through a battle they're still struggling they're still striving on having that strength and courage and bravery and determination wow all right so let's see what the actual situation is for virgo for you and your person so we have the moon Clarifying the moon over here. Wow. The moon twice. The six of swords. And the knight of pentacles. Wow. So the actual situation here is. Wow. Moon, cancer, Pisces. Swords, air energy. And pentacles, earth energy. That's your energy. Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So the moon, again, with the illusions, the secrets. Not knowing all the facts. Um being kind of disillusioned in a way as to what's going on and that's totally connected to you and they know you're sitting in that energy because they came out as the moon also wow you're waiting for this tower moment in this connection you're waiting for it and they're mustering up the strength here to give it to you to reveal everything to you because they know you're sitting in that energy wow and then we have the Knight of Pentacles connected to them. And you are an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So they are mustering up their courage to, you know, maybe moving very slowly towards you to make you this offer. And the Knight of Pentacles comes in with that offer. It's the offers right here. It's sure stable and grounded. It's steady. It's there for the long term, the long haul. They don't go anywhere. When they come, they're there to stay. And they also feel that energy because they have you also connected to them. So they do want this with you. They are thinking of you. They have you in their heart, in their mind. As you see, he's sitting there with that rose. And he has the Ace of Cups on his mind. Wow. And connecting the two of you is the Six of Swords. So here we have, it's air energy. But here we have leaving all the past bullshit behind, especially your person and going into a more comfortable, peaceful um, place, a better place, a harmonious place, a calm, peaceful place, and leaving all everything behind, not serving them, not serving this connection. It's right in the middle of your spread here. It's having that victory moving forward in a more peaceful, harmonious place. After you know all the facts, they finally come forward and reveal to you everything they've been through, how they really feel about you, what they want moving moving forward with the Six of Swords into a better place. Sure, stable, grounded energy here, long-term building, being faithful and being here to stay and wanting to build and being stable for the long term. Wow. So what is your advice, Virgo? 
in the situation. So we have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Oh my God. Earth energy, so that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Nine of Cups is uh, water energy. So your advice is to cooperate with this person, you know, work things out with this person. This is Three of Pentacles, working together, compromise, teamwork, working it out, making plans, moving forward um, in this connection. So that's your advice because this will lead you to your happiness, your uh, wishes and your fulfillment, dreams coming true, wishes coming true, total happiness, joy, and fulfillment with the Nine of Cups energy, transformation in this connection. Wow. So your advice is to you know Three Pentacles, that slow building energy, building very slow with this person, cooperating, teamwork, collaboration, working together, working it out building and growing solid stable energy for the future to wish fulfillment and dreams coming true for you Virgo wow so what is the outcome let me put the camera down Virgo what is your possible outcome the six of cups nice so water energy again so this is a soulmate energy this is coming together with your soulmate. Definite soulmate energy here with Six of Cups. You could have had past lives with this person. You could have known this person since childhood. You could have grew up with this person in some way, went to school, had a first job with them, past lives with them, past life soulmate connection, or someone from your past. Definite soulmate connection here, and that is the outcome. Wow, nice, Virgo. So let's get more clarity now judgment so again resurrecting definitely could be somebody you had a relationship long time ago first love second love whatever it was or a you know old friend from childhood friend childhood sweetheart whatever it was sweetheart making that judgment call forgiving things if there was anything in the past or the energy now forgiving everything in the resurrection here of this connection and forgiving moving on and making a final judgment call here to come into union, to be together. Wow. The three of swords. So, yep, there was heartbreak, pain, sorrow. Could have been third party. I don't know. I'm not sensing that. But I just feel like maybe a person here has been through a lot of heartache and pain in whatever they're going through. You know, broken heart. You know, over whatever relationship is ending for them. Or when they broke up with you, if you guys were in a relationship before, when you were very, very young, maybe for some reason you had to break up. This was very heartbreaking for the both of you. You felt like you like lost everything. Like maybe you just felt like incomplete and dead inside, losing this person. Or it could just be the energy of them having all this heartbreak and sorrow as they're leaving what they're leaving and then also not having you wanted this connection but having to wait also, and you having to wait for them. There is pain and heartache during that time. The water energy. Get another one here. Temperance. Okay, so Sagittarius energy. So again, healing, patience, um, coming back together energy, divinely guided soulmate energy, balancing out all that energy, having that patience, that perseverance, um, divinely guided energy the light at the end the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow a lot of love and emotions overflowing with the waterfall in the background healing energy healing all energies here wow king of pentacles and that's your energy so again st stable energy here i feel like they see you as somebody very secure stable and grounded you got your shit together. Are you making your money? You could take care of yourself. You're independent. You could own your own business or just be a very high ranking boss or something like that. And they see you as somebody who's very strong and brave and very strong, stable, and sturdy and grounded. Wow. All right, the world here. Closing out all chapters, Earth Energy again. So closing out all chapters, no longer serving anyone. They're walking away. 
closing out, completing a chapter here, but ready to jump in, have a brand new beginning. World, last of the major arcana. Learned all of your lessons through all the majors, and now you're ready to take that leap of faith again and start over with the fool and have a whole new cycle and a whole new world and a whole new chapter. Wow. The Empress. So that is um, Libra and Taurus, but it doesn't have to be. So again, you know, they see you as this Empress or you are an Empress, you know, you embody all the Queens, you're the mother of the deck, you're strong, stable and grounded, which we just had st said, very passionate, determined and ambitious. You're loving, caring, and nurturing, and compassionate, and you're very truthful, honest, and blunt, and you stand up for yourself. You know your worth and your value. Wow. Eight of Wands, so here's the communication. Fire energy. So I definitely, if they're not Aries, they could be another fire sign, uh, but yep, that here's that communication come rushing in. Once they're free and they closed out this chapter in, the life, in their life, they're ready to take this action and movement towards you with this loving, passionate, exciting, fast-paced communication. Three of Wands. So, yep, setting out on that journey. They got their goals in sight. They know where they want to go. They've chosen the wand here, leaving the past wands that aren't serving them, leaving them behind in the back here. They've chosen their wand, waiting for the ship to come in so they can just set out on that journey probably with you but it's a period of waiting here because maybe they're not completely closed out this chapter here they're closing out so just a period of waiting before they can move on sail away with you into this new journey so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck i usually take these from the bottom but uh, spirit said just keep taking from the top so we'll see what's on the bottom now the emperor all right so we have the Empress, where was the Empress here? Right here, the Empress and the Emperor. Matching couple, divine masculine, divine feminine. So you definitely could either be definite soulmate here or even a twin flame energy here coming across with the Emperor and the Empress. Wow, so again, and I had said at the beginning here, Emperor taking control of their life, taking charge of their life, doing what's best for them. Picking up that wand, I had said here, they picked up that wand. They know where, what they want, where they want to go, what they want to do for the future and moving on in this whole new world, whole, whole new cycle. Eight of Cups, exactly. And we have the Eight of Cups. Where was the Eight of Cups in their energy over here? Here's the Eight of Cups walking away. Things no longer serving them, fulfilling for them and walking towards something more fulfilling for them which is you two of wands so here's you know making those plans decisions as they move forward towards you how are they going to communicate to you what are they going to say what do they want to do um how are they going to take those actions what's the future going to be like making those plans decisions for the future very passionate energy with the fire so Yep, so okay, so now we have the Hermit Virgo energy, and that's your energy. So, you know, maybe you're spending time alone thinking, contemplating about this connection. Um, you see the sun here, which indicates enlightenment, success, victory. So, you know, you're in Hermit mode, probably, you know, not communicating. I feel like there's no communication right now between the two of you because of what they're going through, and you know that you're waiting on their decision on what they're going to do with those two doors there and they're becoming enlightened to the fact and i think they've been enlightened that you're their person soulmate twin flame and then they come forward passionate wands here passionate communication um towards you very passionate energy and you have two pages here so passion and love love emotions passion yep and I could keep going, but because we have the high priestess under there, intuitively knowing, maybe even you, them, the both of you, this is my person, my soulmate, my twin flame, but nobody's saying anything right now again. I feel quiet between the two of you. There's your energy with the queen of pentacles. You know, we had, uh, do we have the king of pentacles? 
but here's the queen your energy virgo taurus capricorn and then the lovers exactly it's soulmate connection here and then ace of cups brand new beginning in love again the ace of cups over here yep they know they know you're their soulmate twin flame they want this brand new beginning in love with you lots of love emotions overflowing all right so yep they're clearing obstacles right now closing out a chapter so i see them coming forward to you twin flame soulmate union here for the future it's just a waiting game waiting period for them to uh end their cycle so they can start a new cycle with you and you may feel like they're being sneaky tricky but i don't think they are i think it's just because they're not communicating and there's no communication right now between the two of you you maybe doubt yourself you doubt them the connection you know and you think well maybe they're just a sneaky player kind of person but i'm not getting that vibe at all so yeah i think you're you're passionately waiting for them like where's my man and then you have the ace of swords here so yep definitely wanting that truth and clarity that communication nine and two is eleven which is half of the twin flame number and two coming together as one and look at this we have here's the roses with the note and the queen of swords delivering that truth of clarity nine you know i've been through a struggle here but i want to fight for your love i want to offer my love here's my offer he has some roses he has a letter and i know you're waiting for me and i'm not being sneaky even though you think i am being sneaky all right so let's get some guidance let's get some extra guidance messages for you advice in this connection let's get some more clarity here for you virgo nice reading virgo don't doubt this connection don't doubt them um and i see them coming forward all right so we have a card for virgo 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 first half of july what else does Virgo need to know about this connection in their person, in this love connection, please, Spirit? This twin flame soulmate energy. They want to give me two. I don't usually take two. Wow. Sacred heart, passion, love, spiritual communion. So, again, 12, 3, coming together, working together, sacred, sacred connection, sacred heart, sacred love, sacred twin flame soulmate. Again, with the passion, the love spiritual communion connection and then we have purification fire and they came out as a fire sign bare essentials the naked truth and wholeness exactly and one and four five again with change change coming in this relationship this connection the purification of truth and clarity bearing each other bearing yourself to one another the naked truth about one another Hold this when you come together because you are twin flame soulmates and this very much reminds me of a twin flame card wow sacred heart and i feel like you will cleanse and heal and purify one another wow sacred sacred connection here Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck zen garden inner sanctuary exactly and i feel like once you come together you will both find that inner sanctuary within one another. You will complete one another. Peace, calmness, serenity between the two of you. And then we have eight and three, which is 11 again. So we have, no, that's five. Where did I get 11 from? <laughs> three, five. There was 11 somewhere, but anyway, 11 here is, again, half of the twin flame number. And uh, so that would be 11, 11. Where was the other 11 now? That's going to bug me. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> anyway, yep, 8 and 3 is 11. Come together is 2. I don't know where I've seen that, but anyway, 
anyway yeah I definitely feel like here soulmate twin flame connection and um, you know you'd be waiting for them but I do see them coming forward building slowly together cooperation teamwork slow growth in building and having this loving passionate truthful connection with your soulmate twin flame wow virgo 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 good for you if this resonated for you virgo please do like share subscribe and comment um hit the bell you'll be notified of when i post new readings and um i do bi-weekly love in general so please don't miss out on those comment i love to read the comments so good luck to you here in your connection um sending you many like love and blessings and as i always always say with my channel is to always always shine your light